So now I want to do another worked example for you. I want to go through this reasoning again. And I want to answer the following question. Are one third and two sixths equivalent fractions? That is to say, on the one hand, do they represent the same part of a whole? And on the other hand, can we show analytically that the equivalent fractions by finding a fraction that equals one that we can multiply by one of these fractions to get the other? So let me first show you that they represent the same part of a whole. I'm going to look at one third like this. I'm going to take a strip. Now we can imagine that it's just a rectangle that I drew on my board, or more likely, we can imagine that it's a delicious bar of chocolate. Now, for copyright reasons, I cannot mention that I like the brand of Deep chocolate, but you can imagine that it's that brand Deep that you also like. So now if here, I can represent one third like this, okay? This is one out of three. And I can represent two sixths as follows. I can make my same third marks, but I can slice it in half. And now I have this same chocolate bar sliced into six equal pieces. And I will now shade two of them. Now, provided that we assume that these rectangles are identical and that the cuts have been made appropriately, it's clear to see that one third and two sixths represent the same portion of a whole. And so indeed, these are equivalent fractions. Now I wanna see, can I find a fraction that equals one that I can multiply by one of these two, two fractions to get the other? And indeed, I want you to think about this for a second. What would that be? And now let me show you that the answer is two over two. If I take the fraction one third, which is, our which is our first fraction, and I were to multiply it with the fraction two over two, because this fraction has the same numerator and denominator, it equals one. If I carry out this multiplication, I get one times two in the numerator, three times two in the denominator, which, when I multiply, one times two is two, three times two is six, and I get this fraction, two over six. And so you can see that I have gone from one fraction, I multiply it with a fraction that equals one, and I get the other fraction. So these are indeed equivalent. And let me see. And so there you go. One third and two sixths are equivalent fractions. That, may, that represents, again, both that they represent the same portion of a whole, as well as that you can get one, you can get from one to the other by multiplying one by a fraction that equals one. Yes, so awesome.